What are the keys for Ryan to be victorious that night against Devin? Be himself and understand that this fight means more than a fight that he fought with Tank Davis. Mm. Uh, prove and believe and also understand that, you know, you only get too many cracks. Mm. You don't get too many cracks or bite at the apple. So this particular bite, make it count. Mm. Make it count. Mm. You know what I mean? So you got to take care of your business. You got to look at the mistakes, look at the missteps, and correct them way before the night of the fight, obviously. Mm. And that, that's key. You know, Ryan has to be Ryan. Ryan has to be Ryan. Confident in the things in the past is in the past. He has to be uh, himself. What motivates him, he must use that. Whether people disagree or agree, he must use it to make himself mentally and physically comfortable. And then that's what I say uh, going forward to April. What makes him who he is, he has to be what he is. And that's key. And this is boxing, but it is boxing on a high level than just throwing punches. It's also mental. I think in my, in my mind going says help Ryan because he's a good kid, he's a good person. You need to help them, uh, them him, and, and the people around him need to help him. So I feel a little sad for him because, you know, he need to, he need to, to, to have a good person, good people around him to, to hey, Ryan, let's go, let's take it easy, slow down, and then, and then we'll see. What's your motivation? You're on weight. You're one of the best fighters in the history, but you're very successful. You don't have to work hard. You could retire today if yeah. you wanted to. I love boxing. Aww. I love boxing, and I love be, being fighting. So that's why I'm here. Does Ryan beat Devin, in your opinion, Canelo, if he's OK, like mentally? If he's 100%, yes. Yeah. What do you think of Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia? Who do you think wins that one? Devin Haney against Ryan Garcia. Ryan. Ryan's going to win, yeah? Knockout. I hope so. I hope so. Sock, you picking Ryan or Devin? Pues yo creo que gana Heidi. ¿Ya? ¿Ya? ¿Por qué? Eh, porque siento que va a despertar a, a Ryan con su movilidad, con el con el estilo muy apático como lo tenía este Floyd Mayweather. Uh, you know, I think I think Ryan Ryan is going to lose to Devin. Devin is going to win because Devin's style and the way that he fights is just more apt for this kind of fight for to come out on top, really. Uh, I mean, he's a young kid. I think he's 25 years old. Made a lot of money, making a lot of money, becoming very popular, famous at a young age. is dangerous. Um, you know, I gradually kind of became more popular since I was 22, 23, 24. Kind of grew up in the spotlight. And, uh, you know, thankfully, I didn't make that much money. If I would have made as much money as I'm making now, you know, when I was 23, 24, 25, you know, it's hard to say how you turn out. It's just, you know, money, fame goes to your head. Seems like he's kind of doesn't have good people around him um and and you need good people around you You need to you know stay focused to be able to continue to rise not that he can't do it maybe he's going through a little phase but you never know ryan versus devin i think devin i think he's in the better mindset uh and he's on a upward upward hill mm. is there any way that ryan can win the fight Let's talk about that Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight. It's coming up in a few days. A lot has been made uh, of this promotion and the back and forth that's been going on. Uh, but let's talk about what, what's going to transpire in the ring. How do you see this fight unfolding come April 20? Well, the good thing about it, they fought six times as amateurs. They both are well for me with one another, right? That means that you probably won't get no early round stoppage. You probably won't get too much early round action. We get action, but it shouldn't be nothing that we don't expect. Uh, the longer the fight goes, the more we're gonna figure out who has, uh, um, who has grown as a professional and who has not. That's you know because professional boxing is different from amateur boxing. And when you start to find that out, is when the rounds start to get longer. You find out who developed and who has not developed as a professional. And that's what this fight is going to show us. Mm -hmm. Do you think Ryan has the skill sets to compete with Devin uh, at that high level? In, at well, the, well I, don't say, I, don't, I don't say he had the skill set. What I'm going to say is that he knows him well enough 
And if he competed competed with him as an amateur, then I'm sure he's gonna be able to get close to competing with him as a pro. It's just a matter of who can hold on the longest. And like I say, it, 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 the, the story will be, the storyline will be who has better developed as a professional. That's what the storyline will be. Mm-hmm. As a fighter yourself, if your opponent was being so unpredictable and enigmatic leading up to a fight, what do you make of that? I still go back and look at the last time he lost. And that's exactly what I go do to him. I don't care how he acting or how he looking. That's what I'm going to try to do to him. But with Ryan, Ryan's smart because he's bringing a different mindset to the game. And he's making them think beyond that. They're thinking, wait a minute, what's going on with him? They'll get their mind hopefully off of that last loss. So that he can put some more uh, credit back on his side. You feel me? So I think he's going about it very smartly. And um, I think Haney's going about it smartly too. So we'll see whose who's scheme works, you know? What do you think Ryan needs to improve on in this fight with Derek James in order to give himself a, a legitimate chance? Well, um, what I think he needs to do is he got to use more weapons. You know, you can't just depend on the left hook because everybody knows about your left hook now. You feel me? So if it's just your left hook, that should not work because, like Tank said, all you got is left hook, you're not going to beat me. And he didn't. So once again, mm-hmm. if Devin understand that, but like I say, he and Devin know each other better than he and Tank did. So you never can't tell. But I think he should have developed more tools. His right hand, his jab, his body shots. I think he should develop a few more weapons so that people ain't just looking for the left hook. They don't know where it's coming from. At the end of the day, though, man, Ryan's an exciting fighter. I think he's more uh, athletic and has a better boxing skills than Haney's last opponent. Uh, but Haney obviously is a technician. Um, he, he's he's really fundamentally sound. He trains hard. He's very dedicated to the sport. Um, he, he's just a solid, solid kid all around. Where you know Ryan right now, uh, God bless him. But he, he's got to center himself. You know, he's got to center himself. I think those who support him, those who love him, should send out positive vibrations, should, should, should pray for him. And I just hope that he gets the help that he needs. Um, of course, nobody wants him to pull out of the fight. But I would have to say that uh, if right now it's not the time, you know, and, and, if, he can, uh, and if he can afford to, you know, not be desperate for the paycheck, then at the end of the day, you know, you might want to think about your own health and wellness and just come back to the sport at another time. Um, if if this is just a small hiccup, then get it together, kid, and uh, get ready to put on a, a, a world-class performance for the fans to see. You have a tremendous fan base. You are, you are a bright light in the world of boxing. A lot of people got your back. A lot of people support you. A lot of people love you. That's not going to go away with a few antics. You know, um, it, it's more than just pop culture. You know what I mean? It's You're more than a superstar. Um, I know what it means to be at this level. We're not perfect people. We're just people, you know, um, and that, that goes for everybody, all celebrities. And so, yeah, man, at the end of the day, I just hope that the kid just gets the right advice that he needs in the here and now, makes the right decisions that he needs in the here and now. And if he can pull himself together and put a great camp together and have a great fight, then um, God bless him. I wish him the best of luck. Big fight coming up, Clarissa. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, April 20th in Las Vegas. Let me know how do you see the fight. Break it down for uh, the boxing fans, the fight fans out there that uh, are excited about it. Well, I honestly, you know, I've enjoyed watching Ryan grow um, grow over the years. It just seems like to me, uh, Devin Haney has had harder fights. He has had more more challenging fights, and he's and and he's grown more. I don't know if I if, if I can say that about Ryan. So, I just feel that it'll be it'll be entertaining. Like you'll see Ryan go out there and be flashy and throw throw his combinations and be sharp and long and stuff. But I think that um Devin is just a better boxer. And uh, he'll be able to make Ryan run into to run into some things, and I think that uh, it'll be a unanimous decision for Devin. Do you feel it's a a similar fight like the Regis Pro Grace, where we see like a dominant Devin that's winning every single round, or do you see it as a very close competitive fight? I see it as a very close competitive fight early, and I and I say that because of Ryan's attributes. Like he got hard, right? 
He's fast. He's flashy. Um, he got some punch and power too. I just feel like as Devin figures him out, then the fight will become a little one-sided um, toward the middle rounds and toward the end rounds. But um, I'm not saying I will think Ryan just go out there and just lay down and get washed. I think that the beef is real between those guys and Ryan really has a lot to prove, but um, I just haven't seen Ryan make those improvements that I would like to see him make or just add more to his arsenal, you know, but, um, and just fix, uh, just fix some mistakes. Like I can, I can name a few, like one of his mistakes, like sometimes when he jab, he squint his eyes like this. And it's like that, like that split second of you squint your eye can be a split second you get dropped, you know, or sometimes his chin is in the air. That's how he got knocked out by Javante. He was throwing his punches and landing his shots, but when you pull out and your chin's in the air, down you go, you know? So, um, I just haven't seen him fix those things yet. So, um, if he works on some things, maybe he can make him more competitive, but I feel like Devin has definitely been challenged and, um, just, and just over time, he's just, um, had more experience in the, in the pros than, um, Ryan has. So in the amateurs, they went three and three and they're really familiar with each other. There's, does that at all, can it play a role into how well they mesh style-wise, or is it they're pros now? It's a different game. They are pros now. It's a whole different game. You know, um, it's a whole different game. It's a whole different point system. And we and, and, and we talking about little boys that fought, you know, compared to grown men. It's different. It's different. Um, and like I said, just the experience that you have inside um, the ring. You go and look at my record on box rec. It says 14 and 0 with two knockouts, right? But, and then you look at all the belts and you say, oh, only two knockouts. And, you, and, then, and then you may say, oh, well, maybe she's not that great. But then you go and look at the girls that I fought against and you see 18 and 1, 21 and 0, 24 and 0, uh, 23 and 2. Um, 23 and 1, 23 and 0. You see all these girls who are undefeated with way more fights than me, way more experience. And then you'll understand, oh, that's why she's looked at as pound for pound, number one. But then, so that's why I'm saying, like, you look at the competition that Ryan has had um, matched up with the, with the competition that Devin has had, and I think Devin has been matched harder than Ryan. But even though I will give Ryan um, you know, a great head nod on taking a fight with Luke Campbell, I didn't think he would take that fight. And I definitely didn't think he would win that fight. And he got dropped that fight and went through a whole lot of adversity, came back, won the fight, made me a fan for life. I always said Devin Haney is an amazing fighter. Back in 2018, when I was training for uh the fight against um uh, uh Terrence Crawford, he was my one of my sparring partners. And I mean, what a fighter he is. And I said, for, I said it a long time ago that he is one of the best fighters I've spotted. Amazing fighter, has good skill, good movement, power as well. So yeah, he's really showing his class. Since that fight, Ryan Garcia has called him out and now those negotiations have started. Yeah, Ryan I think he'll beat Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I mean, look, I know they fought three times before. And no, no, six times, six times before, yeah. three, three. But I think if it ever happens again, definitely I think, uh, uh, Devin Haney will take that fight. You mentioned how you sparred him for Crawford, right? He's already talking about moving up to 147. How do you think he'll do up at that weight class? I'm um, giving a lot of weight away, but you know what? He holds it quite well. Uh, when I was sparring with him, obviously he was taking the, he, he was hold, he's holding his own, you know? Um, I think he's a very good fighter. Um, yeah, we had some great sparring sessions together. We did that one time. We did maybe, we may have done like six, seven, eight, eight rounds with each other. Brilliant fighter. And uh, I'm glad that he was there to help. You know, in the day, uh, you know, he was up and coming at that time. He wasn't a world champion. And I, I, did, I do remember speaking to him, saying to him that you will one day become one of the best out there because you, know, you can see talent. He said that he had, he had it all. What is it about him that's so good in your eyes? I think it's the focus. The focus he has and from a young age, he's been training as well. What a great fight. In his last fight, boxed a little more. And I think it's just a matter of him catching that rhythm with his, his new trainer and, you know, really developing that style of understanding his distance and his jab. I would like to see Ryan, even though he's, he's calling out the big boys, I would like to see him get back in there and just sharpen up a bit before he jumps himself fight like that with Haney. But, man, if he wants to fight Haney, then, you know, my hat's off to him. What would he have to do to be successful in a fight with Haney? Yeah, what I think is, is you, need to, you need to 
you know, it's a, it's an art in matchmaking. You should probably your next fight should be someone that kind of mimics Haney, that style, just to kind of catch that rhythm. And you know, keep working with your new coach. You know, because honestly, man, like boxing is about constantly training and practicing, where it automatically comes out. You're not gonna get with a trainer and do a couple camps and you change right away. Mm -hmm. It might take a year, it might take two years, honestly, to really learn. I had, a, I had an 18 year career. There was things that Bernard Hopkins taught me early in my career that I didn't really understand till like 10 years later. You know what I mean? So that's that's boxing, man. You always you're always learning. So maybe fight like Hitchens first. Is that what you mean? Like yeah, for Richardson sure, first? for sure. You know what I mean? But you know, Ryan Ryan's a star, man. Ryan put you know he put ass in seats. You know what I'm saying? So he's a star. So I think you know Ryan could fight Haney, and you know win, lose, or draw. You know. If he puts on a good performance, he has that draw where, he, where people gonna want to see him, and that's what boxing is about, man. Boxing dudes just want to see good fights. Are you talking about Haney up to 165? Haney, he up there with you. Hydrating up to 165. <laughs> he yeah, up there with you. That's crazy. You know what I mean? I wonder if when he stepped on the scale and came in, cause see, you gotta remember, right? You gotta remember, like I've done that before, where the day of the fight they actually step on the scale to see what you weigh the day of the fight. And honestly, sometimes they don't even tell you to take your pants off. They don't tell you to take your shoes off. You know what I mean? Like, it's, cause it ain't an official way. So sometimes you can just hop on this on that scale with, with shoes on, your pants on. You know what I'm saying? So that's when the, that's when five pounds, five six pounds maybe. You know what I mean? So I don't know if he got on the scale officially, like you know, like you would in the weigh-in, or if he got on with his clothes and that made him a little heavy. Cause for for him to blow up the 165, that's, I don't see it. I don't see him having that frame when he's that big. Man, Ryan, Ryan, I'm thinking just like Ali. He looks a little cuckoo right now, man. I would, I wouldn't mind like an upset, you know. But uh, I think Haney's just gonna pull it off. He's just gonna outbox him, you know. I'm a Garcia gang, baby. Haney. <laughs> I'm not gonna be because the way the tour said about, they should have said it. So our last, our last. Cause I think our, our last, our, our last stop is Vegas. Vegas. No, no, no. LA, LA. Sorry, LA. And it's on 420 on that day. I'm like, why are we not in New York? Yeah, we should have been in. We should have been in New York right there. That'd been perfect. So I was planning on going, but the way it worked out, now we're not. How do you see that fight going? Which one? The Ryan and Devin. Devin's gonna be hard guy to beat for sure, but I'm all Garcia. I hope he beats his ass. Why? Cause I, cause I know Ryan, so I'm, I'm, I'm with the guys. Who I I was thinking like maybe there was something you didn't like about him. Nah, no. Nah. And Ryan, Ryan, Ryan does his thing. So. Are you gonna light one with Ryan Garcia after the fight? You know, score twenty. We gonna light one with Ryan Garcia tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a great fight with two great fighters. You know, it's um, it's a great matchup. I think that Ryan Garcia's speed is good. You know, he's got good speed and he's good with his left hook and things like that. But in terms of his boxing abilities and his ring generalship. Um, I think that's on Devin Haney's side. I think he's much the much more complete fighter, the much more well-rounded fighter. Um, so I would say on on the boxing brains and the side of things and the skills, I would say it's on Devin Haney's side. You know, and I've seen a couple of things from Ryan Garcia. I don't really know if he's got the heart. Um, I just think that you know he's 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 probably likely that he can quit. You know, he, I think he quit against uh, Javonna Davis. Uh, I think he, he swallowed it and took the knee and decided not to get up. You know, I think I think he quit there. Um, look, I love, I love, love, love these guys. Both of them. Both of them, tremendous athletes. Um, Ryan, I love Ryan Garcia. I love his family. I like, you know, um, they're, 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 they're great people. Um, do I think that Ryan has a chance of winning? I would have to say it's low. Like, like the percentage is low of him actually winning the fight. You know what I mean? And it gets lower and lower when you start to realize that it, it looks, it looks like he's not very focused on the fight. When he's, when it starts to look like he's, his mind is not focused on the fight. 
focused on like exactly what type of strategy are you going to pull off to even land a punch against this guy? You know what I mean? What worked? What don't work? How do you, how do you pull off that hook? You know what I mean? How, how are you going to like actually like be, um, be successful against somebody like that? So, and, you know, so it just seems, it seems like he's not very focused with all the, um, the things that, that is being spoken about and, and, and the things he's doing on, on social media. Now, the thing is, that could be all just a scam and a joke. And if it is, well, then I'm very, very, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's some Blair and Flair shit. <laughs> well, 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 Blair, um, we remember that you had your own struggles at one time with mental health and that you've been an advocate for mental health. So uh, there's a contingent of folks that are saying, well, if he's been trying to sell the fight and if he was selling the fight via the mental health angle that uh, I'm not feeling that. What would you respond to that? Having been a person that has suffered from uh, what multiple Americans suffer from daily. Look, um, he, he very well might be going through mental health problems. But the thing is. One, there's no shortage of money and finances. There's no shortage of opportunity. There's no shortage of the fact that he definitely has a fight on his hands and that it's very winnable. I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows this fighter more so than anybody because he's fought him multiple times already. Yes. Um, so it's not like he couldn't come up with a strategy. And it's it's like he has an opportunity. So, like, can I say that, like, is he going to sell the fight through like mental health? No, I don't think that's going to, that's going to like really, um, job. And the reason why is because like, that's just not how, like, you, you know, what's great. I'd love to see you win, win this fight, win this fight, like, and, and then show people, well, look, I was going through a whole lot of stuff in this and blase, blase. And like this, and regardless of the situation, regardless of what's happening, I still won the fight. You know, not like oh shit, I I didn't I didn't prepare that well, and I didn't look that good because of this. And you know, what I mean, I would rather see him win the fight. You know, what I'm saying win the fight. Just focus on winning the fight, and be and 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 be grateful that you even have this opportunity because you know not everybody has this opportunity. You know, and um, that's what I would see and I would say and, and that's what I would do. I would focus on the fight and and make sure that the fight is being not just promoted well, but being executed well. This fight is a huge fight for DAZN on pay-per-view. What do you make of the criticism coming out on on the pricing of the fight, given the undercard? I mean, um the pay-per-view price is pretty much in line with any big fight in America. Um, it is a big, big fight. You know, I think a lot of people felt like it might not happen. And now with just over two weeks to go, people are starting to realize, oh my God, he's actually going to make it. And um, <laughs> Were yeah, you I worried think, at all that it, that it no, wasn't going to happen? I was. I mean, I think it's diff I'm just about to go and see Devin now. And I, th I think it must have been quite difficult for Devin Haney because maybe he was thinking, is this fight actually going to happen? You know, um, and now you'd have to think it is. And, you know, maybe maybe Ryan's looking great in the gym. I think it's going to be a good, exciting fight. I mean, I think fight week's going to be wild in uh, in New York because Ryan's going to be under a microscope from the media. And you've seen him, you know, act differently, if you like, in the build-up to, to this fight. But maybe he's in a good place. You know, maybe he's happy to speak his mind and he feels like that's what he's doing. So... I expect a great fight in New York. Yeah, I saw you in one of his spaces, and, and you know, you heard some of the things he said. What do you make of the things he has said in the build-up to this promotion? I haven't really understood a lot of what he said or what he's getting at. He's definitely behaved erratically, um, and he's definitely never behaved like this before. But sometimes, you know, freedom of, of speech and and being yourself and saying what you want to say can sometimes lead you to, you know, freedom, if you like. And maybe he's in a good place because he feels like he can say whatever he wants now. 
and what's on his mind rather than, I don't know. I just, you know, I don't know him well enough, really. But the times that I've met him, he's certainly very different now to when he, how he was when I previously met him. So I don't know. But I, I, I hope that, and I'm sure this is the case, that he's got people that are genuine enough around him. They wouldn't let him go into this fight if he wasn't ready. You know, Derek James, Oscar, Bernard, his parents. You know, that they, they I, I'm, I hope and I'm pretty sure they, they care enough to not let him go into a fight where he's not 100%. So I'm sure he's ready. Some people have likened this to Devin's Mayweather Gotti moment. And they said like, hey, he's he's been channeling a lot of the same rhetoric that Floyd was saying about Arturo Gotti in, in the build up to that fight. Devin feels this is going to be a complete whitewash. It's, it's a mismatch. Ryan shouldn't even be in the ring with him. The only reason he's in the ring with him is because he has a big name. Uh, but they feel that he's going to be dominant from the first round up until if it ends early or to a decision. Do you see that same type of fight, Eddie? Yeah, I think I think I'm not whitewash is a strong word. You know, I think he'll be very dominant in the fight. You don't really know again where Ryan's at, but if Ryan's at his best, he's going to be competitive. You know, he he can punch hard. He's got good reactions. Um, he's actually got a good style to take on Devin Haney, but Devin is so focused, so razor sharp. I think he's much better at 140 pounds, and I expect him to win the rounds to break him down. I, I do think he'll stop Ryan Garcia in New York. Oh, wow, wow, really? Yeah, I do. Very confident. Okay, so uh, a fan would hear this and say, Eddie, we know that Haney hasn't gotten a knockout in how long? How is he going to knock out Ryan? Right? Tank could even to, knock out Ryan had, on the chin. He had Regis hurt and down he's molding into 140 pounds he punches a lot harder his timing's good and if ryan gets desperate and makes mistakes he's gonna he's gonna land flush and if he does again you know we will see the how good the preparation's been from ryan garcia but i i personally believe he'll stop ryan garcia uh ryan garcia Devin Haney, bro break it down oh uh Devin Haney's gonna Devin Haney's gonna beat him because I mean, he just he just got a little bit more experience, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He'd been, been in bigger fights, and uh, I, I believe he'll be able to push him. Ryan got some speed, but Devin Devin's smart enough to uh, uh, to tie him. Mm. Despite what's going on with Ryan, what can he do to win the fight? Um, just box and move. Box and move. Box and move. Just box and move. Make make Devin come to him. Make Devin come to him. He's Devin usually he's usually the boxer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make make it come to make him get out of his uh his comfort zone. Why wouldn't he try to go uh, to Devin, like pressure Devin? Would that work? Devin used to people coming towards him, so he's yeah. a he's a great boxer. He know how to box, he, he know how to box on his toes. Ryan, man, what do you make of everything that's been happening? Just your observation of the situation that's going on leading into his fight with Devin? Um, I was just asked that question the other day at the Canelo press. I really haven't been following it. Um, people have been sending me stuff, and you know, it's kind of is what it is. You know, from just from the outside looking in, um, he's got to focus. Got to mm -hmm. focus because a big part of the preparation is just not the physical part; it's the mental preparation. And and to fight in, at an elite level, it's hard to kind of do everything mm. you, you know um and i know firsthand you know when you when you're fighting at the highest level you got to have tremendous amount of focus touch a little bit about that maybe fans don't know like when because everyone says boxing is so mental like elaborate on that what about it is mental when people say that what does that really mean oftentimes you got to visualize what you're going to do mm. and you have to break an opponent down and again the just just being focused because and i'm glad you kind of brought that up because just something just crossed my mind we'll use Floyd as an example it's like he can focus when there's chaos per se what people perceive as chaos mm -hmm. but that's but that's floyd mayweather though you know um with all of these other fighters you know because floyd is Everything is repetition with him. Repetition. He knows what you're going to do before you even do it. Mm. And he's he has the high IQ to be able to see it coming and then to be able to react. That's a gift. 
And it's always harder when you're a younger fighter, when you haven't been in a lot of big time fights to be able to. And the, and the focus part of it is, you know, oftentimes you have to just kind of, as, as my mom used to tell me, sit still, sit still, you know. Um, and it could be because he's promoting the fight. I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know. I've just, again, I haven't really followed it too closely. So. Yeah, a lot of people think maybe it's a way to promote the fight, to make it bigger, get people talking about it. Other people have brought up the behavior, like, hey, like, maybe he's not okay, like, because he's you know, said some things uh, that have made people question, like, is he there, like, mentally? Um, if he was my fighter? Yeah. I would have a different kind of approach. What would be your approach? I would pull him. You would pull him from the fight? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Unless he told you, like, hey, I, this is just to build up the fight. Yeah, because... Because everything that you're reading, it's kind of what it is. It's, yeah. You know, it's kind of what it is. Now, given that then, this fight with Devin, do you, if he is focused, in your opinion, you know, you know boxing very, very well, and, and you're a student, you know how styles clash too. How difficult is this a fight for Ryan and Devin? Like, if you were to have scales, like 50% this way or 50% that way, like, how is it? To be honest, it's really kind of hard for me to say because I really haven't thought about it to look at each, each one of them style. You know, it's a good fight. It's yeah. a good fight for both of them mm -hmm. at this point in their career. Mm. If you were to favor someone, who would it be? Neither one. Neither one? Neither no? Do you, you see it as even or? Um, again, I would have to sit down and break it down. Yeah. You know, because there's probably some things that Devin does really well. Um, there's probably some things that uh, Ryan does really well. I know Ryan really well because yeah. I studied him. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. Last one for you, um, a fight coming up. Uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Uh, thoughts on that one? Um, another great fight. Um, I lean slightly toward Devin. Um, I, I know that they both fought in the, um, in the amateurs. And I, mean, I don't know. I don't think nobody knows what's going on in, in Ryan's head. I mean, because it's, it's so weird for a guy to to be talking the way that he's talking, talking about anything else but fighting. And um, and that should be his focus. And so I just don't know. I mean, I just I'm, I'm looking for Devin to win that fight. I think it'll go. Excuse me. I, I think it'll go the distance, but I think that um, I think um, Haney will win that. Mm -hmm. Your quick prediction on the fight, Haney and Garcia. April it's not even a fight. I mean, Garcia. I mean, I I don't want to say anything, but 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 Haney is a real fighter, and uh, you know I I don't look at Garcia as being very much, uh, but again. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But, you know, and he has a big following. Garcia does. He acts crazy uh, for whatever reason. But, you know, I'm an old school guy. And I think that uh, uh, Haney uh, is way too much for Ryan. That's what I think. Does Haney beat Ryan? That, that looks easy. like the next big fight for him. Easy. He, wait, wow. Easy. I told you this before. Man. Devin Haney beats Ryan Garcia easy. R Ryan beat, uh, I mean, uh, Devin Haney beats Ryan just like he beat Pro Grace. No way. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Why? How did Devin Haney, how did uh, Ryan look against his last opponent? I don't know. You tell Ryan, me. I'm terrible. interested. He looked you terrible. thought he looked terrible? He, he won. Yeah. He won, but really, did compare Ryan's performance against a guy that's not on Pro Grace's level mm. and compare Devin Haney's performance against Pro Grace. Two different guys. They fought two different guys, and they look, uh, yeah, they look. Devin Haney looked like a million dollars, and uh, uh, Ryan looked like a thousand dollars against a guy that's not on Progress's level. So I'm not gonna say he's gonna destroy him, but uh, he beats him because he's more skilled. Because Ryan is not ready for. I told you this once before. I think in a couple of interviews ago, Ryan is is if marketed right, a kid can make a lot of money because he's got a lot of followers. You just can't let your ego get in the way, not only through managers, but also through fighters. You can't let your ego get in the way. You gotta be marketed the correct way, fight the right fights. And then when you have to at that next level, then you fight at the next level. 
he's not ready for that level yet. He's not ready. He proved that he wasn't ready for Tank. He definitely is not ready for Haney, and he's not ready for Shakur. Teal, I told you before, Teal has got the right style to come at him, and maybe he gets a, a, a little easier fight with Teal, but uh, he may be there. That's a 50-50 fight for me, uh, but not against Devin Haney. Not, not against Tank again or not against Shakur. So you, you feel it's the same one-sided performance uh, versus Ryan with Devin, like similar to what uh, we saw over the weekend. Absolutely. Yeah. And maybe even it may be even more dominating because uh, uh, Ryan is Ryan has a good punch. Ryan has a little speed, but Ryan does not have the skill or the uh, experience or ability that Progress had. Progress, you're talking about a world champion, and now you're talking about a guy that's really hasn't had that level of opposition. And he was confused when he fought Tank, completely confused. He was, showed some confusion when he fought Duarte, and Duarte is nothing. Or I shouldn't say nothing. Duarte is not at that level. Mm. Yeah, you said it, uh, you felt he, he looked terrible. Uh, not terrible. The, he just, I, I didn't like the shoulder roll thing. Yeah, you know, that. Uh, um, that's not his, that's not, that's not something you're going to, Mind you, there's some fighters that are great at that. But that's not something you can learn in one fight. That's not something you can't, at that level, you can't change your style to a, in, in a way that is completely 100% different than it was before. He needs to go with what he does best. What he does best, he's got some hand speed. He's got a little power in his left hook. Uh, and uh, he's got youth. I mean, he's got, uh, he, he, he does have a lot of ability to a certain level. Not the Haney ability, not the progress ability. And like I said before, Mat Matias would destroy him, would knock him out so ugly that uh, I would hate to see that fight. Here and there in the gym, we train at different times, but what I have been saying, he's been sharp. He's been real sharp, uh, technical, you know, everything clicking. It seems like it's clicking for him now. What do you expect, you know, come you know, come fight night when he faces Devin Haney? You know, Devin Haney has has faced tough op opposition you know, here lately. Ryan Garcia, you know, come with that loss and then that victory over Duarte and, and Ryan and, uh, Javante Davis, you know, what kind of uh, performance are we expecting? I, mean, I feel like he's going to go out there and put on a good performance. You know, he's going to be sharper than he was. He's going he gonna to show different skills on what he showed the last fight. I think he's getting better and sharper and understanding their, you know, res routine or whatever. You know, everybody gets to adapt to the way he trains. And I see Ryan actually adapting to it and getting more comfortable with it. So I think we'll see a more comfortable and, and sharp, fluid uh, Ryan Garcia. You know, it's a prof professional fighter as yourself and, and him. What have you told him maybe? Any, like, any, like, uh, keynotes to tell him, you know, when you step in there, you should do this? Or what has he told you? Anything that you probably feed off of each other? Uh, no, nah, like, normally if we feed off each other, it's just basically like we'd be working out, hitting the bag, or he'd be hitting the miss, and it's just that energy, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I may blurt something out and just <laughs> pick it up, or we might talk and sh while we shadow boxing or something like that. But for the most part, you know, that's... That's about it, where we get our, our fuel from each other from. If you could predict the fight, uh, are we going to expect a knockout or, you know, to go all rounds in favor for Ryan? Or what is your prediction? I mean, you know, Ryan is a, a puncher. You know, he's a puncher. He can land that, that big shot on anybody. Uh, man, prediction, I just want to see a good fight. I want to see a good fight, which I know it'll be. Um, he, he prepared, you know, he ready. And, you know, Devin's been training as well, so I think it's going to be a good fight. You've been around him obviously for the past few weeks, almost about a month. You know, people were kind of worried at the moment about the social media antics that he had, and people were just kind of saying that. Could you say he's solely 100% focused for this fight? From what I've been seeing, he locked in. He's you know, locked in. Focus, everything coming together. You know, uh, I could I could see why people would say that mm -hmm. he wasn't focused in this and that with all the the stuff that was going on. But me being around and, and actually seeing him, he been busting his ass. You know, he been working so. Fight night, he'll be ready. Just a couple of weeks ago, just a couple of weeks ago, when everything started coming out and, and and we seen what Ryan was saying and the interviews he was doing and the you know stuff he was saying, I did think they shouldn't let him fight. I, I thought you know his especially his parents, manager, trainers, everybody around should have put a stop to the fight because it, it didn't look right. It didn't look right. Uh, but lately, it looks like. Things are getting better. It looks like from videos that I've seen, he's in the gym, he's training. Uh, what what changed my mind? Because at first I thought he shouldn't fight. He needs help. People should, you know, shouldn't be looking into making it to the fight because it's a huge payday. It's a lot of money. But I think his, you know, his health, his 
it, it should be first. So I, Leonard, Leonard Ellaby said the same thing. So I thought, I thought uh, they should, uh, they should, they should, you know, cancel the fight and, and take care of him, help him, because he, from what I was seeing, he needed help. But uh, I know people that are very close to him, you know, uh, and, and and in the last few days I've talked to I've talked to that person, and he's told me that. You know, think you know that person wouldn't be lying. He's a very respectful man, and uh, and he wouldn't be he wouldn't be lying about 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 uh, his preparation. And it looks like things are going well. It looks like training camp is going well. So I'm excited about the fight. I think I think Ryan has a good shot. You know, he's got great power. He's fast. You know, he's a big boy. He's strong. I think he's got a good shot. You know, I I I I, I think uh, his power and his speed. One punch could to change the, the whole fight around. And coach, with the things that kind of were going on and transpiring with Ryan a couple of weeks ago, um, if you were coaching him, how would you handle that situation? You know what? I I I'd rather not get into it because he's got a, you know Derek James is a great trainer, man. You know, trainer of the year. You know, he's been recognized. You know what he's done with 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 Errol Spence and with other fighters. He's done a great job, so I can't get into what I would do because, you know, what if they're not doing it, or what if what if they are already doing? You know what I mean? It's just something that needs to be needs to be uh, between them. You know, I I want to see a great fight, and I know Derek James is is going to have him ready. I know Jerry James is, is dedicated to his to his sport. I know he wants to continue growing. I know he's had you know that 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 loss with with Errol Spence, which was a big hit for him. But I think he learned a lot from that too. And that makes him a better trainer, you know. If you keep winning, 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 then you're doing great. But sometimes you need to lose something big like that, like like what happened to, to Derrick James, to become a better trainer. And I think that loss is gonna make him a much, much better trainer. Two big losses in a row. Exactly. So, and so we so, so he needs to he needs to uh, he, I think I think that's gonna teach him so much, you know, because for many years all he was doing was winning, winning, winning. He needed those losses. He needed those type of losses to to learn, and, uh, and and that makes him a better trainer. After you take big losses, uh, what do you do, coach? You learn, bro. You learn. You 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 go back. You study. You watch. You find out what went wrong. What you did wrong. What you should have done. What you didn't do. You know, so many things, man. You know, it's happened to me. 10, 12 years ago, you know what I mean, uh, and 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 you learn, man. You you have to you have to make makes you better, makes you better because sometimes fighters trainers do get comfortable too. If you keep winning, you keep winning. You have a team with nothing but win winners. You know, fight, trainers get comfortable too, just like fighters do. Fighters get comfortable thinking I'm never going to lose. Trainers, same thing happens to trainers. You know, losses like that, big losses like mm -hmm. that help a lot. Have you had a chance to speak to Ryan? What advice have you been giving him coming into this fight April 20th? Yeah, no, just uh, I've just been I've been telling him how how proud I am of him and how great he's looking. Um, I just got an update from Bernard today, this morning, that he's looking, that he's ready. And we're what, I think we're what, a couple weeks away? Two weeks. Two weeks away. And so for Bernard to tell me that he's ready, I, I believe it. And so, look, Fighters do their job up in the ring. I, I do my job outside the ring, so uh, we're gonna get a, a huge event. I think uh, I think New York, where it's at, the fight um, in Brooklyn is gonna be draped with Haney and, and Ryan, and uh, and the world is gonna you know enjoy a great fight. Uh, on an ending note, Oscar, you know you have such a, a good brain for boxing. If confronted with the style of Devin, someone who jabs and moves around, yeah. how would you approach that fight, and how, how would you beat that style? Um, jab, 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 jab. Um, always start, always start your combinations with jab and feints. See, because uh, Devin Haney fights straight up, and he fights straight up for a reason. You know, well, just just as a fighter, you fight straight up right here, right? So what you have to do is hit, hit the elbows, hit the shoulders, but the one punch that you can never block if you're like this, is the jab, you know? And if you noticed it, if you notice it in, in any fight where you have a fighter like this, 
kind of shelling up. That jab will always land. It always lands. So, you know, my my recommendation would be to yeah start everything off with a jab and throw a lot of feints, then throw your combinations, and then move back. Use your distance because the fighters who fight tall like this, they're always looking for fighters to come down like this. So all they're gonna do is just just tag you, boom, just tag you because you're like this, right? So yeah, just use your jab and fight tall. Use your jab. You know what? I I see a lot of it, and um, you know, sometimes I think it might be for show. Um, maybe it's it, maybe it isn't. It it, it looks like. He's over there talking crazy and they want people to think he's crazy. But, you know, have one thing in mind, that he's not crazy. He's not insane. He's smart, he's doing, he's doing you know, this is gonna bring a lot more money because of what he's doing. So, what is he getting? 200, what, 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 what is a- what No is idea what their purses I, are. They I, haven't I heard, released their purses either. That, that he's in line to get like 100 or 200, but I don't know. As that's on social media, from seeing the the kind of antics and the things that he's been saying, uh, having looked like he was in a mental institution at one point or hospitalized, uh, maybe under observation. Um, from a father's standpoint, do you think that are there conversations that you're having if he was your son and saying, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah, right away. Right away, because, uh, and, you know, it's different when you're a father that's never put on gloves in your life. When a fighter, and, and to be a father that's been in the limelight, been been an HBO fighter, been, you know, Olympian, and well, so forth, three-time world champion. I know what he's feeling. I know what, he, uh, what, what he's thinking. What I is know, he feeling, champ? Uh, you know... I feel that I don't know. With Ryan, you're talking about Ryan, right? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ryan. So I feel that I would have to talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you know, like as a father, I'm like, son, are you okay? Like, and and, and he goes, Dad, I'm just doing this just so that people think I'm crazy. Everybody's gonna tune in. I'm like, go ahead, son. But but you know, I'm sure they've had those conversations and be you know prior to you know that you know what I'm saying that. I'm saying that, you know, they're raping little kids and, you know, he hasn't seen what he, they haven't seen what he's seen. Right. And they made him watch and it's kind of crazy stuff, but. It's a little, it's a little past. Far, far, far fetched. for a fight, right? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, a little extreme. It's a little extreme. A lot extreme. Plenty of it being extreme, but. Because mental health's nothing to play with. I mean, it's not. as many people go through it. And one thing that I've been talking to the fighters today and just in the, in the past couple of weeks is the amount of mental stress that boxing puts on an individual in the private moments of their life. Can you talk a bit about that? Well, only a fighter knows, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you know, when you're, when you're dropping weight, when you're in the last week of the, of, of the fight, you're you're not in a good mood. You're, you're not you're you're, you're very uh, moody because of the fact that you're not eating, you're not drinking water, you're, you're you're depleted. And you know, people like you know. Well, I said hi to him, and he didn't even say hi. People don't understand what we have to go through. People don't understand that the you know this is like you know you almost. Feeling like you want, you're gonna lose your life when you when you're dropping so much and you're like I don't know I can't do this. You're like having doubts in your head and then people want to be like Hey, how you doing? Hey, man, everything good? And then there's been times where I said No, motherfucker, ain't good. Nothing's good. And they're like Wow, what's wrong with Fernando? Why is he being that? Because you don't understand what I gotta go through. You just see me fight up there and see you know Fernando Vargas. You don't see what we have to go through. through they see the success camp. of fight night, but yeah. they don't see the arc that leads you Correct. up to fight night. Correct. So that's that's just what it is. And and at the end of the day, you know, we're fighters, but we're human beings too. You know, and we're savages. A lot of us, not everyone, but 
you know, and anything can take us the hell off. Anything. Like kids yelling, you know, I'm like, hey, I remember when I was, you know, I was fighting and, and, and my kids were fighting, you know, playing and I get mad. Hey, calm down. And then like, my wife goes, baby, you kind of overdid it, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. You know what? That, I can't be here. I got to be, I got to go somewhere. I, can't, I got to be in Big Bear. I got to be. I can't be, I can't, I can't stay here. So that's one of my, you know, I was losing the weight and and I'd be snapping at my kids and, and I'd rather leave and then, you know, my kids see me every so periodically and that, that way um, they don't have this, this um, grudge against me for me yelling at them and, and, you know, scolding them for nothing, for dumb things, you know, like, stop it, yeah, you know. I, it's just I remember certain things that then I apologize to my kids for that, and you know. But now as fighters, I go, Dad, I know exactly what you're going through, and now I understand. And I'm glad that you you, uh, you said I'm sorry to us, but you didn't need to because now I know. Now we know what it is to to be depleted and to bring down my body down to a weight that's not normal, and then I still have to spar three guys and and fresh guys, and then. And then not be able to eat food and and I, and I drink water, so I understand it now. That thank you, thank you for for your sacrifice that you did for us. And I go, I so I love you, son. Thank you for understanding. But if you guys didn't experience uh, fighters, you guys wouldn't understand. Think about Ryan Garcia's chances versus Devin Haney, and how do you see things? Happen? Look, so they uh, everyone has a chance of boxing. I think Ryan has a good chance. They uh they have history, so I don't. I've seen Devin fight other people, and then I've seen him fight Ryan. He's a completely different fighter when he fights Ryan. He, it's kind of like I don't want to say bad blood, but like it's kind of like they have unfinished he business the all the time. A bit, he, right? he really does. You know, uh, I think the last fight's on YouTube. But the 2014 he, fight. That's a yeah. that a lot of fans go back and watch. Go that watch time. it. You know, if Devin turns into a different fighter, and uh, he kind of goes after Ryan, he puts it. He puts, you know, Devin won the fight. You know, he kind of turned it on on him and, and he won the fight. I was, I watched the fight in person, but he, uh, they both have a good shot. It just, it, it really depends how they go, how they approach the fight. It's really up to them. You know, we can't go off of their past fights because they, they have history with each other. They're going to have some kind of point. I don't Said no one is safe. You, you've been on a rampage lately, Bill. I mean, listen, I'm, I got the best fighter in the world, so I've only been doing what, you know what I mean, I'm supposed to do. I, I, I don't have no lies. I don't pull no punches. I mean, it is what it is. You said uh, round seven, round eight, somewhere around there, you guys are, are foreseeing a knockout. What, what makes you feel that way? Unless he violates early, then Devin is going to demonstrate, you know what I mean, early. So, um, obviously, I think that Ryan is bull. He's a, he's a boxer puncher, no different than Devin is a boxer puncher. It makes for a great style. It's not a, a an opposite kind of thing. I think that, you know, when we've seen the 3-3, three, three, but if Ryan comes in and he's, um, you know, he's going, he's, he'll go out early. I saw a clip online. Let me ask you if you feel it's kind of a similar thing. There's a clip of Devin and Lenars and Devin just uh, evading all the hooks that Lenars threw throughout the fight. And they're saying like, hey, Stylistically, this might be a little similar. Like, Devin knows how to evade these types of punches. Um, like I said, Devin has the ability to handicap any fighter on that given night because it's not about what you do best. It's about what we're going to let you do when the lights come on in front of the people. If we don't want you to do that, then you're going to definitely have to do that. And are you comfortable as a, as a fighter doing what you don't do best in front of the people? And I, I, I think that that's a discomfort that anyone will have, and that's normally our game plan. We don't get what you've been doing, you're not going to do that on us. Going back to the knockout, uh, some fans have said, hey, you know, Devin doesn't have a, a big knockout uh, percentage. He's never been a... Which knockout? Are you talking about the knockout where Devin was the knockout of the year with Antonio Moran? Or are you talking about the, when Devin just dropped Regis Progre um, and buckled him several different times? I mean, which, which one are you talking well, about? Well, that's what I've seen. They've seen, you know, Devin has gotten a, a real knockout since that fight. And they've all seen, yes, he hurt uh, Progre, but he hasn't put him out. So how is he going to put out a, a bigger Ryan Garcia, Garcia that didn't get knocked out in the chin by Javante Davis? Um, like I said, though, you know, uh, styles make fights. Um, Devin is growing. 
Um, he's he's developing a power, developing um, a speed, an accuracy. I mean, I'm expecting April 20th to be fireworks. You know what I mean? If Ryan comes forward like you're saying that you're going to come forward, Ryan, you will end up on your back early and your career over with. When you look just when this whole started, like, what was your first initial impressions and has that changed at all to this point now with what he's been doing on social? No, I mean, n not only me, but, you know, everybody has lost respect for Ryan uh, with all this antics and all this bullshit. But, um, you know, the, the, you know, we people, a lot of people had a respect for him for taking a fight with me uh, because fought Tank, fought me. You know, he's one of the, the very few guys that's doing it. So a lot of people have respect for him. Like, okay, you know, we take up, we, we, we give him a pat on the back. He's, he's actually fighting these guys. Um, when he doesn't have to, but now it's like he's he 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 doing it, but it's like he's setting up an excuse for after you know he loses. But at the end of the day, I still got to finish my breakfast, got to go in there and do what I got to do. So I'm just keeping my blinders on, you know, keeping my tunnel vision, staying focused, and uh, ready to to perform on April 20th. Was there at any point like a call made from you or your dad to them? Uh, to Golden Boy to Ryan and asking like, yo, what's up with him? Like, what, what's going on? Is this, is he really losing it? Or is this like him building it up? Like what's happening here? And yeah, no. is this fight going to get get canceled? For sure. No, it was definitely, definitely some calls made to, to see if, you know, if, if this fight was still on. You know, we called Oscar a few times. Hey, listen, is, is, is it on? Is it off? What is it? The WBC reached out trying to see if he was, you know, trying to, you know, examine him or whatever the case may be. But um, I've all, I was always staying focused, staying in the gym, staying working. And um, here we are now. We're, we're, we're less than a month out. The fight is, is happening. Ryan's in the gym. I'm in the gym. He's training hard. I'm training hard. And uh, I think that the, 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 the styles of the fights, the, 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 the styles of me and him, makes for a great fight. Yeah, let's get into the nitty-gritty about it. Uh, Ryan has said some strong things uh, today, saying that he wants to kill you in the ring and, and all this stuff. I asked you earlier, like, has that kind of rhetoric amped you up more or change the dynamic of how you're approaching it you touched on it but you know let, let us know how it has changed maybe your mindset coming into this fight listen ryan might get killed trying to kill me you know what i'm saying sometimes when you want something so bad it's, it backfires on you so we'll see you know he may run into some that uh he won't that he can't get up from no you mentioned uh, in the group interview that you want to get him out of boxing that uh, he's been a, a bad role model up to this point given his social media behavior after this fight i, I know a lot of you know hype in this pre-fight stuff emotions get going but do you think after the fight you guys will be able to cool no 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 i don't look to be nothing after this he go his way i go my way and it ain't we will none would, would never be cool wow. it's just because of how he's approached the fight we never be cool yeah let me know uh what's left the devin in the camp uh being at 140 for the second time as well how you've noticed improvements how you've noticed changes and how much better you've made uh yourself in this camp yeah, alhamdulillah, I feel, I feel stronger than ever. Um, you know, um, everything is, is going as planned. Um, and I look to just show show the world how much better I am. Every fight, I'm getting better and better. You know, in last fight, I put on a flawless victory, but I want to show that I'm even better than that. Oh, I thought you are going to add to that, but no, I guess not. <laughs> hey, uh, I like to hear that you want to be undisputed again at 140. Uh, that's that's good language, but uh, I've always commended you about wanting to take these challenges and wanting to do those accomplishments. What does the ideal last part of this year look for you in terms of opponents and reaching that goal? I don't know. My main focus right now is Ryan Garcia. Um, it's big fights to be made in 140, but uh, right now, you know, I want to. I'm gonna get past Ryan, and then we'll see. Hey Devin in the stretcher. It's a fight, right? He tried to kill me, right? So if I put him in a stretcher, why is that a problem? And I'm going to leave no crumbs. I'm going to beat him so bad, I might even hit him on the ground. Nah, I'm not going to cheat. We're going to hit him, though, until he falls on the ground. He's going to be like, finish him. Fatality. He wanted me to go start going light. He's like, stop trying to hurt everybody. It's fine. Nah, I am going to try to hurt everybody. Yup. I'm trying to hurt everybody. Everybody that's against God. Shout out Sound of Freedom. The movie that talked about what I'm talking about. I've been beating myself with bamboo sticks. I've been, you know, scraping myself so my skin comes out tougher. You guys do not know the extent that I've been going just to, for this fight. Just for, the, I, I've been going crazy. 
How am I promoting violence? It's a fight, you idiot. This is, bo I'm a boxer. I can't be promoting violence if this is what I do. I box. How's that? What I do is violence. What I do is violence. I don't give a They can shadow ban me all you want. You ain't gonna stop me from talking. You think this is a boxing match? He got me f So Mike Tyson could say um, he could eat your children, but Ryan Garcia can't say I'm gonna pit him in a stretcher. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have his daddy putting oxygen mask on him. He gonna need an oxygen, oxygen mask. Remember that. Remember what I said. I'm gonna have Devin in a stretcher. They're gonna be taking him out in a stretcher. That part. Because remember what he asked um, um, King Saul? God asked King Saul to, to destroy everybody and leave nobody left. And King Saul didn't do it. And that's why he was like, I'm, I'm done with Saul. Where's David at? I promise you I'm leaving him in a stretcher. I promise you I'm leaving him in a stretcher. If I gotta bite his ass, I'm leaving him in a stretcher. If I gotta twist his arm and break his arm in the ring, I will. This is not a fight to me, dog. I mean, this is not a boxing match. This is a fight. I'm 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 coming to I'm coming to destroy his life. And if you think I'm playing around, well, people have died in the ring, right? Have people have people not died in the ring? Yes, they have. So obviously he doesn't care if he killed me. So if he killed me, he'll walk around like nothing happened. So I'm going in to kill this one. Okay. Oh, it's a boxing match. It's a boxing match. Remember that. And it's all legal. They have. They've killed people. So I ain't playing around with this. He better be ready. Either he's he, he, I mean, unless he's willing to die, that's on him. But I'm coming to do that exact thing. I'm coming to kill him. Right. April the 20th, 420. It's smoke. It's smoke. We're here. Now listen, I'll say the first, the first on the block for the cheese and the last to leave. That part. And that's that part. Is Ryan going to be on? Is, listen, is Ryan going back, going to touch that canvas on 420? I guarantee you, Wallahi, I promise you, I promise you, I'm knocking Ryan out. That's they good. Go, All right, well, y'all already didn't hurt him. See, and you know, see he didn't promise to see that I'm, I'm levels above this dude. Like I said, he's a C level fighter. I'm an A plus fighter, and I'm going to show it. Well, you ain't never let me down, champ. And I know when you, put, when you promise something to me, look, look I already know how you're going to deliver. 